on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't Love and engagement, engagement, engagement marriages, and marriages, and, and lots of love. The deal with me and Courtney. That should be the title of this video, honestly. I'm getting a new car. And it's. She loves me like a woman. Filled with love and love engagement, and engagement, and marriages, and marriages, and, and lots of love. But first, let's eat. So Sam's on his way home from the gym, and I figured I could make us a nice little lunch, a delicious lunch. So we're gonna have grilled cheese and tomato soup, vegan style. So I have some tomato soup. This is already vegan, as is. Progressive. Wait. Progresso. <laughs> What's progressive? Is it like insurance? I'm pretty sure we got kicked off of progressive. No, we got kicked off of State Farm. Yeah, because I wrecked my car. Anyways, speaking of car, I only have like five more days. What's that? I only have four more days left. Oh my God. I'm actually sad because my car she's so pretty she's so safe has seriously been such an amazing car and i'm gonna miss her i'm gonna miss her fiery little insides i'm getting a new car and it's it's not my like all-time dream car but it's like my dream car for this point in my life if that makes sense like when i'm loaded with money i have a different dream car but for this point in my life for all the things I have coming up, to go show clients some houses. This car that I'm getting, guys, I want you all to guess what it is. <sighs> it's popping. I'll give you a hint. It's gonna be white. <laughs> Anyways. Y'all wasn't tuned in back then. My swag, they keep jacking. Hey. I ain't doing no verse, hey. quit asking. Hey. Hey. What's popping? Hey. Breaking grilled cheese, so we're gonna use the Dave's 21 Whole Grains Organic Bread. The best bread ever. We're gonna use some vegano cheese, vegan cheese. We're gonna like make it extra cheesy. So I have the vegan smoked Gouda. This is by Follow Your Heart. This is probably the best cheese that there possibly is, vegan wise. This one's pretty good too. The Vile Life Colby Jack Shreds. We need butter to make a little plant-based mozzarella too by the 365 Every Value brand. So first step is you're gonna heat up your pans. That's what they're doing right now. A little butter on there. To Get the pan all juiced up. This is also vegan butter. I always talk about it. It's like the best. Even people that don't eat vegan food, I notice like still use this butter. Let's try to not set the fire alarm up today. Okay, so you're gonna take your bread. You are going to butter that bread and then you're going to put it butter side down on the pan until it gets nice and toasty. Butter side down. So she's quite burnt, but she's really good. I guarantee you Sam has something to say about this burntness. It's fire. Like low key. Oh, it smells so good. Hey, and me and Sam just got dressed up a little bit. We're gonna go get some dinner reservations with my parents. They are taking us out to celebrate for passing our real estate exam. So quick out of the day, top is a sweater from Nasty Gal. I'm wearing it like off the shoulder. And then my full leather leggings are from Fashion Nova. And then my shoes are also from Fashion Nova. And then I have my Gucci purse. And then, come here Sammy boy. And then Sammy is wearing a cute shirt. I think it's from Brooks Brothers. 
He got that when we got engaged. Mm -hmm. Jeans are from Nordstrom Rack, and then he has his Air Force Ones on. So, we're gonna go get some din. the hype, they mean you guys have been here the past three days. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hey, Sam. <laughs> Hi, Sammy. Hi. Hey, Sam. E. Sammy. Hey, Sammy. Oh. Hello, my darlings. We are back home from dinner. It was super yummy. I got like a vegan mushroom risotto. We are about to watch some Bachelor on the TV. Have a wonderful Tuesday night in. I have a sweet tooth right now and I have not had a sweet since Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna treat myself. Where did he freaking hide? Sam! Where did he put my ice cream? I'm gonna have some Nancy's fancy ice cream gelato. Why is it raining? Like, this is not normal. It literally rains maybe five times a year in Arizona, and today's one of those days. And today's one of those days where like it shouldn't rain because we have something going on that we might be outside for. Anyways, just got my nails did. I feel like a whole new bish. Shh, it's done, got my toes done too. Got plain white on the toes and then my nails, I just went for like a really pretty ombre. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. She said, that's cute. I'm stopping at Starbucks to grab a coffee. something to like spice me up a little bit. Been a little boring today, which no bueno. Ugh, I just have so much to do. I think I'm just a little stressed. Do you guys want me to sing you some Christmas carols? Frosty the snowman was a holly jolly hum. And a holly hum in a birthday. No, thank you. Okay. I like the interior. Thank you. Nice you too. <laughs> Hello. So, as you guys can tell by the title, there is going to be a wedding in this video. And I'm sorry if you clicked it thinking it was going to be mine, but it's actually one of Sam's best friend's weddings. And Sam's in the wedding, so we are, well, I am headed to our friend's house right now. I'm going to go with them. And then Sam's already there because he's in the wedding and he has to get prepped and all that kind of stuff. So I will get some clips of the wedding. I'm super excited. This is the first wedding I've been to in literally years. So I'm so excited. And I will show you guys some stuff. I'm just wearing this cute little satin silky dress from Express. And then I have on my Windsor coat because it's half outside, half inside. Like the actual ceremonies outside. And it's only 60 and it's raining. So I'm going to be freezing my tatas off. But... Once we're inside, grooving and moving, I think that I'll be fine. So, just want to say hi, and you know, I look kind of cute, so I was like, pull the cam. All right, but I gotta be safe, I gotta get back to driving, and I will see you guys at the wedding.
open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh Over the fields we go, laughing What's up guys? So today is Friday, day after the wedding. We got up this morning and we are headed to Sedona now. We are going with our friends, Guy and Sam. She's getting it, well they are getting engaged today. We had this whole thing planned. She thinks we're just going on like a friends camping, glamping cabin trip, whatever, in Sedona. And the reason we're going is for them to get engaged. So they had this whole plan. Hopefully it goes smooth and I'm gonna be filming all of it. So yesterday when we were at the wedding, I was telling her, I was like, do you guys mind if I vlog this weekend? Like I need content. And she's like, yeah, I do it. So that's not gonna be weird. There's a camera and stuff. And yeah, so hopefully everything goes smooth. All right, back to jam sesh. So we just got stuck in traffic. Supposedly there's an accident up there. But I'm gonna open my Christmas ball. So I can continue to do out. Oh. Today is December 11th, day 11. I have to set up my phone too. Hey guys, happy December 11th. We are actually on a road trip on our way to Sedona with our friends. So I, you know, had to bring my box with me to get the content every day. So day 11. Oh my gosh, you guys can't see. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh, technical difficulties here. <laughs> you guys are under my bed. Okay, we're fine. Babe, can you just hold this for a couple seconds? Okay. Ready? <gasps> An ornament! We don't even have the tree to put it on! Look at this little... What is this? It has a bunny tail, but it's a reindeer. <gasps> it's so pretty. We got some socks. Oh, these are festive. Should I switch the socks out? Ritz which is good because we on the road trip. I felt it when it was in there. Samuel John? Babe, I swear to God, I didn't know. Okay, well I think the money fell, but there was also $20. Playing games. Okay. Got a fire going. This outfit. Wishes may be hidden. A part of us will never leave. Sorry. We're fine. Thank God. Okay. They'll be here like any second? Okay. Okay guys, so we're in Sedona. Sam is about to get engaged to propose to. We are so excited and so scared. Her best friend Jenny flew in and we are all just waiting for it to happen. It's gonna happen over here at this little section and we're just all waiting and we're gonna hide. Where are we hiding? Hiding. Yeah. Here you go. You ready? Yeah. Look at what your boy did. It's so cute. Aww. He is. Oh, the song is playing today. Hi, Sandy. Hi. 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 Hi
good, how are you? Good. We can hide behind those bushes right there. If, yeah, if you're doing uh, the photo so, shoot, they hide behind I was gonna try to get a video. Should I hide my oh, camera somewhere? Yeah. I'm gonna put my camera up there and hide it. I can check it. It's just rolling, so. Congrats, Sam and Guy, I love you. Look at the leaf, real leaf decor here. He is amazing. He's romantic. 
Like, she's like, I'm never gonna be with him again. <laughs> like okay, so that's so many hours. Right. It's very difficult to try and hide something from. So Amen. I just wanna say thank you to Guy. Thank you to everyone else who helped set everything up and helped keep her under wraps with <laughs> it all. And I just I hope all the love, all the fulfillment in the world for your marriage and cheers. Good job! Cheers. Appreciate it. Every single person played a part. Chad Grab, Jenny, and me, Chris. Yeah, that and was Kemper. so kind. I love Kemper. you all so, so, so much. Jenny like, came out here. Me. You guys Every like are so person. good because I was drilling all of y'all. I felt like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can I get you guys like anything else? <laughs> We're all just crashing Sam and Guy's wedding tonight. <laughs> 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 Benefits of getting up early to go to the gym, you get a really delicious view. I'm gonna say you with him. Okay, that's one. You with him. Which one? In the uh, army. Army. Okay. I'm gonna say you with sunglasses. <laughs> so you think the two, the two single men stand forward? <laughs> no, you're no. With, no. You're with, you're with Chris. Well, yeah. he just broke it. He's single. So. <laughs> you paired they're us, actually, right? They're okay. actually a couple. Oh. You got yeah. them right. I got them right? <laughs> yeah, I got them actually them us too. Um, <laughs> you too. And you too. Yeah, like you just want to see what people okay. thought, like if they see us together. So you got oh, one right? You got one right. That's good. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat. Okay, go ahead. So I'm gonna say him and her. Because I think I saw you guys holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're the other two. Um, they're just friends. They just like to. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> the tricky part is there's two single people, so. <laughs> Discuss it in private? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on a friend? Yeah, on a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, look at the shoes. We're going to say you and her. No. Which one? Which one? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Alright, I'm gonna go jump off. This is my fiance. I'm gonna go jump off. I 
am so hype every single time I get to work with Nasty Gal. Every time they reach out to me, I'm just like, yes. And immediately on the site, picking things out, especially this time. I don't know why this haul just hits different. I don't know if it's because it's a holiday inspired haul or what, but found so many cute pieces. I'm going to be trying everything on for you guys and they're all like holiday inspired. So if you guys are still looking for something to wear this Christmas or for any type of holiday event, New Year's, whatever, you guys got to check out Nasty Gal. They have the cutest things, such amazing quality, and they literally have something for everyone. They have the comfy section on the site and then they have their sassy, moody, nasty section on the site. So you guys got to check them out. Everything that I have tried on will be linked down below for you guys. And again, thank you so much to Nasty Gal for partnering with me every single time. I always love what I get. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, we are on bum mode right now. I decided just to put on my boyfriend's hoodie. Fiance, sorry about that. Okay, so starting off, this is the first piece I tried on. I'm obsessed with this dress. I am just so into longer dresses now. And that's so funny because if you would have told me that like a couple years ago, I'd be like, no, I'm only wearing the shortest, tightest dress that is. So this dress here, so freaking comfy as well. It's just like a plain black ribbed material. It's very lightweight, so you could totally dress this up and make it look so put together. But honestly, you're wearing like a thin piece of fabric that's so soft and so comfy. I love how it has the high neck. Like I said, it's just all black ribbed detailing. It does have two sexy features to it that makes it just stand out. So we have the open back concept. I love an open back. There's just something about showing your back that makes a girl feel powerful. So I love that. There is these little straps that also tie down. You could do some crisscross action in the back. You can tie it around the waist, which is what I did just to snatch it in a little more. And then it also does have this little slit, which also does some action for the leg. So I'm obsessed with this. It is the comfiest thing ever, but you can still dress it up and be so Okay, next, maybe my favorite outfit. It's just so different for me, but I love it. If you guys watch Selling Sunset, the real estate agents that are just so bougie and popping, which is what I aspire to be. This is just like giving me those types of vibes. This is businesswoman. This is boss babe university. Let me know something. So these pair of trouser dress pants, I am so in love with. They are just like the most gorgeous, muted nude color they are trouser dress pants style but they have the jogger cuffed bottoms which i love because it looks so good with heels to kind of separate everything and then the pockets are nice and deep and they just fit so comfortably again you're super dressed up but it's so comfortable which you guys can tell in every single outfit i have here that's literally the theme that's going on so i do love these i do think that they are just a little bit big these are us four so that's my true size so if you guys are wanting something that's maybe a little bit more tight around the bum area, then I would maybe size down one. That's what I would do next time. I do love these because they're so comfortable, but I do feel like if they were just a little bit tighter around the bum area, oh my. And so I paired it with this gorgeous little corset looking bodysuit top. Whew. She's like a piece of lingerie, but she's like classy, you know what I'm saying? Because the um, tatas are like a silky material, so... It just like doesn't show off the nipples, which is totally acceptable. And then of course, just the lacy detailing. Like ever since I started trying wedding dresses on, I'm just so in love with lace. And there's just something like so feminine and so gorgeous about it. Like I just feel. <sighs> so I love the muted nude color. The two together are perfect. I paired this outfit with these chunky clear heels, which just is so classy. Okay, next outfit, I did a little bit more casual. I paired these jeans I was talking about with this top here. I think this may be my favorite top that I've ever owned. It is so cute. I love the detailing, the style to it. It's just so flattering, and I'm very obsessed with the turtleneck style things these days. So it just looks like this, and then it also has the entire open back concept, which is just... I did not wear a bra with this, um, which you shouldn't, but you should have sticky boobs, so my boobs are kind of like... Blah. But with a sticky bra or some adhesive tape or something, Girl, this is so sexy. Also has like the nice, gorgeous, long straps in the back so you can tie it to a pretty bow. You can crisscross action. You can do whatever you want. And again, this is like super dressy and cute. A pair of jeans made a little bit more casual plus the silkiness to this. Girl, you're comfy. I paired that outfit with these boots here, which are so cute. I'm obsessed. They have a gorgeous texture to them. They're laced up, so they give a little bit of a combat boot feel, but they're still like super classy with a nice chunky heel, easy to walk in, very comfortable. 
and I paired it with these jeans which are like a mom jean situation so it was kind of hard to tuck them my calves are already huge so tucking was not an option I pulled it over I don't I don't think I'm a huge fan of how I styled the shoes with this outfit. I feel like they just deserve their own show because they're so pretty. So I would probably wear this with like a dress or a skirt or something. Or maybe even skinny jeans where you can tuck it in. Um, but yeah. Okay, this next outfit was seriously so comfy, but it looks so dressy and sexy. This skirt here, I am just so in love with the midi skirt vibe. And also, obviously, if you can't tell, silky satin material is like my thing right now. So this is just a mini skirt. It's black, it's simple and plain, has a gorgeous slit in it that shows off so much leg action, which is so sexy. And then we have the button detail down the side. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but seriously, so cute. So soft, so comfortable. And then I just paired it with this plain black bandeau top, which I actually did get from Nasty Gal as well, probably like two years ago. So I don't even know if they have this anymore. I'll look for something similar and link it. But paired these two together, which you can wear as an outfit just as is, or if you want to dress it up even more, this blazer. It literally sparkles like snow. Like, you know whenever you see snow that has first fallen and it's so sparkly in the sun? That's what this reminds me of. It's just like an iridescent, gorgeous glow. I'm obsessed, like she glimmers. Very comfortable as well, and it just is so classy. It dresses up any outfit, and I'm obsessed. And last but not least, I have this gorgeous maroon colored dress, very holiday vibes, and it's satin. What else would you expect? And then it's a shift dress, so it's super comfortable. It does hug in all the right places. It makes the booty look nice and complimented, but it's flowy at the bottom. So very comfortable, very cute, not too short, but so fire in this color, like a wine burgundy maroon red. Just screams Christmas. So that is everything that I got from Nasty Gal. I literally think this is probably my favorite haul I've done with them. I just love holiday pieces. I love styling things. So I had so much fun with this. I want you guys to comment down below what your favorite outfit was and which one you would wear for the holidays. Still don't know what I'm gonna wear for Christmas, but it's probably definitely gonna be from this pile. If you guys are interested in shopping them, definitely do so. Everything is linked down below. You don't wanna miss out. Sedona. We had a really fun eventful weekend. We had a wedding this weekend. We had a proposal, surprise proposal this weekend. Everything was so much fun. So I'm so excited. I got to get some clips and share with you guys everything, but we are finally back home. I put on my comfy onesie and I've just been editing all day. So I had this fun idea that I want to go through all of my past Christmas or Christmas Vlogsember. I used to call it Vlogsember. I think the first two years. But anyways, I want to go back through the old intros and share them with you guys and kind of just rate them and just see how much I've grown even just in the intros. I was watching some old videos and I was just like, what in the world was I thinking? And I'm just praying that two years, three years from now, I'm not looking back at my videos now and being like, Carissa, which most likely I will be. So yeah, I want to do that with you guys. But before we do that, I do want to just share with you guys a couple things that I've been doing every single day. So first thing, if you guys remember these from last year, you're an OG. I love you. This is seriously like the highlight of my Christmas videos. And that is opening up the advent box calendar thing that my mom puts together. So she got these boxes from Target, I believe. And then they just come empty and you fill them up yourself. So she goes all out. Last year, I got a new pair of socks every day, some chocolate, some like coffee or something, um, a bunch of cute things in here. And then this year, homegirl went off. So if you guys want to see um, my everyday openings of these, I do them every single day on my Instagram. Instagram is right here. Go follow me. Finally done a whole box and we do this counting down until Christmas. So I just opened the first one of my new box today. So today's December 13th and I just opened that one up. So if you guys want to watch along, go to my Instagram for the last 12 days until Christmas. So another thing that I have been encouraging my followers to do and that I've been doing every single day is reading my Bible and going through the entire chapter of Luke. 
So Luke has 25 chapters, and if you read one chapter a day in December up until Christmas, then you get to read the entire life of Jesus, the entire story of Jesus while he lived on earth. And this is my new Bible that I've been using. I get a ton of questions about my Bible and my Bible journal, so I'm going to let you guys know now. It'll also be linked down below. I literally get this question on the daily. So this Bible, I'm pretty sure, like 95% sure, my dad got it from Amazon. He got me, Sam, my mom, brother, Sierra. He got all of us a brand new Bible, which is awesome because reading the Bible, let's just say I've been trying it. If you can see in my Bible journal, I have gotten up to, let me see. I've gotten up to Ezra, which is like pretty much, like it's pretty decent. It's like halfway there, if not almost halfway there. But I just struggle so hard with comprehending it. That's why I got a journal like this to like kind of keep notes and stuff like that to understand what I'm doing. But it's just so hard. So this Bible is an easy to read Bible, if that makes sense. It's like put into language that you can actually understand. It just gets to the point, it gets through everything, makes it easy to read. So I love it, it's called the book. I know for sure it's on Amazon, I'll have it linked down below. I'm pretty sure that's where he got it from. And yes, love it, 100% recommend. Perfect Christmas gift, perfect gift for any time of the year, and it's also super affordable, and everybody needs a Bible. So if you're going to get a Bible, get this one, the book. You're welcome. And I love this thing because it helps me keep track. It just has every single day. It marks out the chapters that you should read every day so that you can get through the Bible in a year, and slowly but surely, I'm getting there. I think my mom's on her third time reading the Bible, and that is seriously my number one goal. It has been my number one goal for a long time, and I'm sad to say I put it off a lot, but... I'm back on track. That's all that matters. I want to share with you guys those two things that I've been doing every day. So follow me on Instagram because I'm very active on there on my stories. And I share this with you guys every single day to also keep you guys accountable and keep you on track. So yes. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. So my mom in these boxes this year, I've been getting some ornaments. So we have a few ornaments I want to show you guys on my tree. My last vlog, I did decorate the entire tree. So go watch that if you missed it. Oh, we need the ring light over her. Guys, the house is a disaster. We just got back from Sedona. Didn't have time to clean. Don't judge. Laundry over here. Getting done. At least it's getting done. Yes, I want to show you guys the tree and a little bit of like an ornament haul. So we have poinsettias on here. We have these from last year, which is like frosted. Obviously, my theme is white, if you can't tell. White and neutrals. We have icicles, sparkly ornaments, iridescent clear ones. And then these are some of the ornaments my mom got me this year. So this is just a frosty little snowflake and it's soft. I love the texture. This one's so cute. It's like a sweater material with a star. Again, neutrals. This guy I got this weekend to add to the collection. It's so cute. I literally don't know what it is, but it's cute. It's a reindeer with a bunny tail. And then this one is my favorite. It says We're Engaged 2020. I think it's so cute. I love the wood. It's just so pretty. And then I think I showed you guys this in the last vlog, but we all picked out an ornament this year. This one's mine. This one's Sam's. This one's Pickles, which by the way, Pickles still at my mom's house. So we're going to go pick them up as soon as I get this vlog up. We have some silver. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, this one. This one says peace. So pretty. My mom got me this one this year too. This is from my Gigi. She gets us an ornament every year. So this is last year's and this is this year's. Pretty angel wings. So yeah, that is the tree update. I'll update you guys every time I get a new ornament, but that's what we got going on. Okay, so to end the vlog today, I thought, like I said, it'd be fun to go through and just watch some of my old intros for Christmas or Vlogsember. I'm pretty sure I started vlog Sember four years ago, but I don't think I was very consistent with it. I think I skipped a bunch of days. Let's go through. I'm going to screen record so you guys can see what I'm watching. I kind of want to watch all my intros, Christmas or not, because that would actually be funny. Okay, while I'm pulling these up, I do want to remind you guys I have a huge giveaway going on. It is going to be just a massive mystery box. That's what I've decided on. Um, it's going to be just literally everything in a box. I have a ton of PR stuff that I just have extras of or that I wouldn't get much use out of. I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in there. I'm going to have like anything you can think of. Makeup, skincare, jewelry, clothing, um, gift cards, cash, fitness stuff. Like there's going to be a bunch of stuff in this box. It's going to be huge and it's going to go to one person and every single week during the Christmas videos, I'm going to give you guys kind of like what I want you to do to enter. So last 
video, you guys had to go comment Merry Christmas. So if you didn't do it, go do it now because I'm gonna be checking. The winner has to have commented on all four of the videos that go up this year. Okay, so to submit your giveaway entry for this video, I need you all to comment down below what is the number one thing, only comment one, one thing on your Christmas list this year. Comment it down below. And that is your entry into this giveaway because I know who's watching the video all the way to the end. Okay, back to these videos. Okay, so I'm gonna have the video popped up right here so you guys can watch it with me. This is from four years ago, vlog Vlogcember 1 and 2. I got lip injections. Oh my lord, what is this intro? Okay, first of all, let's just go back to the intro real quick. I don't even have words. Second of all, look at my little scion. It says Coastal Carolina University on the back. I have a, you know those people that have the stick figures on the back of their car? I have one of me and my cat. Babe, on the back of my scion, I had a stick figure of me and then a little cat next to me, which was Kitty, because I was obsessed with him. He was my only pet at the time. Number first, and, and I um, talk about getting lip injections in this video, so I'm not even going to watch it. If you want to watch it and make fun of me, go ahead. Go try to find that video. That's, that's very embarrassing. But that was the first intro that I had. This is my very first video. What was my intro here? Oh. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my channel. So for my first video, I figured I would just keep it. No intro, we just went straight into the video. And that voice. Why did I speak so fake? Here's just a random video, so did I have an intro? Oh, same song. Beauty, fashion, lifestyle. Who has been here since Fab Facts? Every single video I would do a Fab Fact in the beginning and give you some type of fact. That was my mom's idea. <laughs> and at the time, we loved it, but okay. That song, I guess I loved it. Okay, let's see. Do I have a new intro at this point in my life? Oh, same song, just new intro. Beauty and lifestyle vlogger. Okay, that intro actually wasn't too bad. I mean, it's, it's not like video intro, it's all text, but that was kind of cool, I'm guessing. Welcome to today's vlog number day three. Oh my gosh, I'm literally embarrassed. Please don't go back and watch these videos because it's just not okay. I know I made an intro at some point. I just don't know where. song <laughs> again just a text intro okay so when my channel started popping off is when I started doing every single day videos back two years ago do it is. what you love every single day this was good this was my first cute intro I worked so hard on it. I literally think that took me maybe like three full days to do. This was my first time like ever doing graphic design and all that kind of stuff together and the first time I put videos into stuff. So I was so proud of that. Um, I already know I'm going to get questions because Courtney is in that intro all over the place and I know people are going to say something. So the deal with me and Courtney, that should be the title of this video honestly. We are fine. We have talked a bunch through text message. We just went our separate ways. We had a friendship, breakup, whatever you guys want to call it. 
but like it's been over a year now and we both are mature enough to have like talked about everything and at this point in our lives like things just aren't the same and we're just on completely different paths but I love her, I wish the best for her, and I know she has the same exact thing for me, so I know I get a ton of questions asking about her, and there's no bad blood, we are completely fine, it's just we have completely different lives now, so there you go, there's the tea on me and Courtney. When did I get a new intro for that? I think this whole time I did the everyday videos, that intro stayed the same. I think I called, oh yeah, I finally started calling it Christmas two years ago. Two years ago, Christmas intro. Let's watch it. I love this one too. <laughs> Obviously, I'm still obsessed with onesies. Okay. Oh. I loved that intro. I was so proud of it. But I literally, my house back then was, does Jesus take the will on that house, honestly. I set up my entire couch. It was the only area I could film anything at, and I just set it up and made it Christmassy, but I think it actually came out really cute. And also, my brother filmed that entire intro. I used to get my brother to film. He filmed that entire intro and the one that was like, dun, 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 like the everyday video one. He used to be like my personal photographer. He always got me the good video footage. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy. Okay, so I don't think I had intros here either. Last vlog uh, on Christmas. I used to do this thing. Don't look! She got Carissa, see? It's not bad. Oh, congratulations, Jen. You're the fatty in the bunch. Previously on Carissa Nicole and then on this episode of Carissa Nicole. Then when did I get a new intro? I don't think I had an intro for any of this. I didn't. I would just hop into the videos. And then we finally let me just make sure I didn't have an intro. One, two, oh, three. I did. too interesting but it was it was all right and then this is last year's Christmas intro which I loved it but it was one minute long and every single time I posted it everyone was like girl this intro is too long and I know you guys are all skipping over it so I loved last year's and we put so much work into it it was cute fun whatever but this year I wanted to go for something shorter so this is last year's intro So this is the only year for Christmas that I haven't used this song. Oh, sorry, my battery died. Okay, let's finish this. Should have kept that. Okay, that was super cute. 
I like that. Again, it was just too long. Okay. Did I have any other intros? I don't think I did. <laughs> questions so we do have some vids or some questions in the next Christmas episode some juicy questions we're gonna answer also my wedding dress shopping video top five love it too okay and then we are officially at the last intro to review Christmas 2020 Hold up, I am on the way. I'm comment down below what's the number one thing that you want for Christmas this year because that's how you enter into the giveaway and I think that's going to wrap up today's video I love you guys all so so much times a Millie, Billy, Trilly thank you guys all for watching I love you and I'm so excited for the next episode